Okay, I just put out a long and detailed video about all the different keyword match types in Google Ads. This is going to be a very short, quick video about keyword match types and negative keywords in Google Ads. So when you start your campaign, you have the option of using three different keyword match types. The three different keyword match types are broad match, phrase match, and exact match. You'll see right here, I have broad match targeted, I have phrase match targeted, and I have an exact match keyword targeted. My exact match keyword has gotten two impressions so far, so we'll see if we get any search terms here. Probably not. So we do, and you can see it's the exact search term to impression. So very quick, easy understanding of how exact match keywords work. They're going to take the exact keyword you're targeting, and when people type that in, that is going to match pretty much exactly with very, very close variations to that keyword. So exact match is going to give you the most relevancy, but also the least amount of volume. So if we come back into our ad group here and we go back to our targeted search keywords, you're gonna see I also have a broad match and a phrase match here. So the biggest difference you're gonna see Broad match is gonna drive a lot of impressions. It is also gonna drive a lot of clicks and you're gonna see the average cost per click is generally pretty similar for broad match and for phrase match. Sometimes you can bring broad match down just because you're getting more volume, but overall, unless you are really keeping a close eye on how you're bidding on your keywords for broad and phrase match keywords, a lot of times they're gonna end up having a pretty similar average cost per click. Now, my number one recommendation with keyword match types is use the same keyword match type throughout your whole campaign. So in this campaign, I use phrase match keywords. That is my preferred keyword match type. I will go over why in a second, but broad match keywords can also be very effective if you are adding negative keywords regularly and you are targeting the best high search intent keywords. So pool repair near me as a broad match keyword is a good broad match keyword. Pool repair, pool company, pool services, all of those are really terrible broad match keywords. You're gonna bring in all sorts of irrelevant keywords that don't actually have the intended search intent that you wanna target. Pool repair near me is telling Google, I want you to go after anybody with any search term variation that they are using that would closely match this search intent of somebody looking for a pool repair company. Where you're going to do the best with broad match keyword is doing something like above ground swimming pool repair or something like pool heat pump repair near me, pool equipment repair near me, pool solar heating repairs near me. So all of these different repair keywords that you can add, you're gonna do much better if you're using long tail keywords with your broad match keywords that you're targeting. Now phrase match, I would definitely recommend a very similar strategy, but with phrase match, you're gonna target slightly less search terms, actually probably a good amount of less search terms, but the search terms that are coming in that are actually matching to your keyword are gonna be much more relevant. So essentially with broad match, you get the most volume, but the least amount of relevance. With exact match, you get the most relevance, the least amount of volume, and phrase match gives you a balance between the two. There are plenty of reasons to use broad match keywords, especially if you have a really good conversion data coming in, if you're using really high search intent keywords, if you're keeping up with your negative keyword list, and if you make sure that you have a really well-structured campaign with different ad groups where you don't have a ton of crossover between all of the different search terms that are coming in. So you may wanna start adding some ad group level negative keywords with your broad match type. A quick 30 second promotion, if you like my content, I have a Google Ads course available, 21 lessons over 10 hours for $34.99. You can access it by going to surfsidepppc.com slash course. That will give you all the information you need to run successful Google Ads campaigns. If you're interested in learning how to drive more leads for your business, join Surfside Inbound. It's $4.99 a month. It's available on Patreon. It's available through my YouTube membership and you'll get access to all of my premium content, including a five and a half hour inbound marketing course. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Phrase match keywords are generally my preferred match type. I think they make it the easiest to actually manage the campaign. They give you the most relevancy for your budget. So you don't have to worry about exact match where you're trying to add in every single keyword variation. Phrase match is going to find some of the best keywords, but it's also gonna make sure that you're not targeting things that are overly irrelevant. Sometimes with broad match keywords, your conversion results may look better, but you're also getting irrelevant conversions coming in for competitor keywords or for things where people are accidentally calling you or calling you and just not overly interested in the service that you have. Whereas phrase match, I feel like when you are driving those conversions, they tend to be a higher quality conversion. You could also see here, they're not even telling us that the first page bid is different for broad or phrase match. Not really to you know that big of a surprise, but it's not like using broad match keywords gives you access to some really, really cheap click. It's generally you're gonna pay based on the search term. So you have to keep in mind how much you're bidding depending on if you're using a max conversions, target CPA, or a manual CPA. 
CPC bidding strategy. Now, coming over here really quickly, I want to cover an example that I actually had where I targeted farmhouse curtains as a broad match, as a phrase match, and as an exact match keyword. And these were actual search terms that came into my campaign. So broad match, you can see farmhouse curtains, country curtains, so far so good. But then you start getting things like curtains Canada, curtains Nova Scotia home indoor, sweet home collection window tier, so country curtains catalog, not terrible, drop cloth curtains, gray pattern curtains. When I see all of these, it basically makes me say, okay, we probably need to target a lot of these. We need to add some of these as negative keywords, and we need to make sure that we have better landing pages set up for some of these different variations people are searching for. So ultimately with this example, we're not giving people the best landing page experience because somebody typing in curtains Canada, going to a farmhouse curtains landing page is not necessarily gonna be the best overall user experience. Phrase match, you're gonna see farmhouse curtains here as a phrase match keyword and you'll see this is how you designate the different keyword match types so nothing for broad match quotes for phrase match brackets for exact match if you are in google ads you can easily just click like this and change your match type you can select in bulk go to edit and you can change match types in bulk you can also when you're adding keywords here if you're adding a new keyword you just go new keyword like this if for a broad match keyword, you do new keyword like this for a phrase match keyword, and you do new keyword like this for an exact match keyword. So these are how you would signify the different keywords that you're targeting as you add them. But again, you can make bulk changes very easily within the Google ads interface. But coming back over here to match types, you're going to see farmhouse curtains. So we have some relevant search terms here, country style curtains, modern farmhouse, farmhouse curtain ideas, shabby chic, blue, vintage, laundry room, white, and country. Overall, this would be a much more relevant experience than what we're giving people here. So the main thing that I like about phrase match is I don't have to worry about overspending on clicks that somebody types in curtains, Canada. I pay $2 for this click. They say, this is, this is not what I was looking for at all. Somebody's looking for the country curtains catalog, which, you know, I don't have that. They come in there, $2 click, nothing, not interested. All of these are going to be pretty relevant no matter what, as long as I'm carrying some of these different variations that we have. And I can also say, you know what, let's create a landing page for shabby chic curtains. And we'll send people directly to that landing page when they're searching this. Exact match is going to give you the best relevancy. So you're going to see right here, farmhouse curtains, farmhouse style curtains, country style, farmhouse chic curtains. So these are all really good variations of this keyword. So the exact match will match basically the exact keyword and very, very close variations in terms of synonyms, misspellings. Phrase match will target anything that is pretty relevant to what we are actually targeting. And broad match is basically going to go out there and find anything that has even an ounce of relevance towards the keyword that we're targeting. Now to finish this off, the other thing that you need to know is negative keywords. So when you go into your actual search terms, you can find ideas for negative keywords. So something like for me, a swimming pool service company, I don't want to target pool supply store. So I add this as a negative keyword. We could either add it to our ad group, to our campaign, to an existing negative keyword list, or we can save a new negative keyword list and apply that to our campaign. If we do it to our campaign, which is generally what I do, the exact match keyword would only get rid of this specific search term. A phrase match keyword would get rid of anybody who includes supply store as a phrase in their search term. So not even these two words, just a supply store as a phrase within their search term. And then last but not least, if we put supply, that will exclude anybody that includes the word supply within their actual search term. If we do supply store, that would include anybody whose search term contains both supply and both store within that search term. So I generally use broad match a lot for single keywords. And then I will go in here and add exact match for things where it's like pool inspection. So pool inspection, add as a negative keyword, campaign level, save, and that will add that as a campaign level negative keyword. You can also add negative keywords by going to tools, shared library, and exclusion list. This is where your negative keyword list will be. You can create a new one. You can add new negative keywords directly to your list. So very easy to do. You can view all of your negative keywords here on your list. Click on the plus sign, add new negative keywords. And then the other thing that you can do is you can apply your negative keyword list to multiple campaigns. So if you have different campaigns that you're running, you can use that negative keyword list there. Last but not least, going to admin, going to your account settings, and then coming over here 
to your negative keywords, you can add these at the account level. So you can add up to 1000 negative keywords at the account level, and that will apply for all of your active search shopping and performance max campaigns. So I would recommend doing this as well it can be a great way to keep your campaigns optimized. Make sure you are targeting the best possible keyword match types, depending on your goals and your budget and the results that you're seeing. So if you have any questions about keyword match types or negative keywords, it's a pretty quick overview. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash surfside inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my youtube videos thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe